above the rest? Uh, I mean, we take it for granted, I guess, and here he does that uh, for us on a nightly basis. And, uh, yeah, he has the ability to take games over on, on both ends of the ice. He's uh, got a really unique skill set in that sense. He's an absolute competitor, um, obviously one of the, the top leaders on our team, leads uh, both on and off the ice. So, you know, um, the more you watch him, the more less impressed, I guess, you are. Um, it's just it's how, good, how good he really is and, um, you know, obviously really uh, deserving to get the third star. He's been on a bit of a heater here for the last little bit and has been a big uh, contributor for our team. So, um, yeah, it's an absolute pleasure playing with him. It's, uh, it's great to be able to slide the puck over to him and he can do his thing and make you look good. So. I'm not sure what your mindset was going into the season, but you know, clearly with the team where it is, you know, guys that are in your position don't have to look over their shoulder in the last game before the trading deadline. How uh, uh, important is that, Dylan, uh, in going forward? And I don't know, you've earned it, but how grateful are you to be in that position when guys on 10 to 12 other teams, this is a tough, tough week for them. Yep. Yeah, and I've, I've been here, obviously, you know, I got traded here. Yep. Um, I don't know what it was, a week or so before the deadline. So when you're in limbo and you don't know where you're headed and kind of where your life's going, um, it's it's definitely tough on, on uh, you know, the mental state as a just as a human being. Um, you know, obviously, you know, it's what you sign up for. But, um, you know, as a human being, you, you kind of get attached to places and you enjoy where you are or the, the group of guys, whatever it is. And it's a tough time for a lot of guys that are the playoff pitcher on expiring deals or, um, you know, that get traded. And it gets even harder when you have a family and uh, kids. And if kids are in school, that wrinkle that gets added to it. So, um, you know, we know we, we signed up for that, but it's tough. But, you know, on the other end of the spectrum to be a UFA on a team that's obviously battling at the top in a playoff pitcher here um, definitely eases your mind a little bit more knowing that you're going to be here for uh, you know hopefully a long playoff run um, I've always enjoyed my enjoyed my time here and the fit's been great on and off the ice it's been a lot of fun um, you know getting to be with these guys for the last four ish years so um, yeah hopefully we can continue that in the future but you know obviously the focus now is a, is a big push and and uh, put ourselves in a good spot for a long playoff run and my final probing question you know kids are lovingly referred to as little germ bags so how does a guy with a little germ bag uh, avoid the flu that's going on around the well, national knock, hockey knock on wood here you know it's still i don't <laughs> know the yeah well, hopefully not if, if if i if i'm sick i'm coming after you and i'm getting you sick next so um i don't know i guess uh he's in daycare he gets sick every week i guess i'm just used to it now and you know you pop a few day cools in and you go i guess i don't know what it is uh yeah it's uh you know, every every team deals with it throughout the year, and obviously we've got a lot of games up here, so it's important that guys get their rest and get hydrated and, and take care of what they need to do. And um, if guys need to, to come in out of the lineup, we, we feel confident with, uh, you know, the depth we have that, um, you know, guys can fill the void. Dylan, what is the mindset of the club overall with the deadline just a few days away? Control what we can control. We just go and play, and, um, you know, if we make a move, we make a move. If not, you know, this is our group, great. Um, you know, that's up to Chevy and, and uh, you know, the front office to decide what they want to do. Um, we feel we have a great uh, great group in here, and, and guys have, uh, you know, uh, done a great job all year of playing well and using our depth, and um, goaltending has been great, and, uh, you know, we feel confident with our group. We've played a, a lot of good hockey here this year, and um, even when we've had stretches where we haven't played well, we've been able to, to nip it in the butt quicker than, uh, say, last year. And, um, yeah, we, we, we like our team a lot. We feel when we're playing our game and, and doing what we do, we feel confident against anybody in this league. Roster's composition and, and the team's overall performance this season is the is the sense perhaps calmer, feeling that you more are more likely to add like you did with Sean as opposed to make drastic moves to, to shake up the roster. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, we don't even get to control it either way. So I think for us, our focus is just, you know, we got Seattle coming in tonight, obviously a hungry team, and, and we, you know, we know we have to put in a, a good effort. You know, we have a real tough schedule here this March, and I think we're just on a day-to-day -day basis, game-to-game -game basis, control we can control, and, and guys come in here prepared, ready to go for a big game tonight. Speaking of Seattle, they played a game in Calgary last night, a later start and a real physical game, probably got in quite late. Does that make it key to kind of come out today and try and really get a jump on them early? No easy games in this league. Uh, we've been on that on that end, I think, twice last year. We were in um, a different city, and we had to go into Seattle and play a 5 o'clock game on a Sunday. So, I mean, it, you know, there's no easy games in this league. These guys will be hungry. It's the time of the year now where you can't take anything for granted. If you come in and think it's going to be an easy game, you're going to be uh, very disappointed. It's going to be a tough game tonight. We've got to be ready to go. I saw a stat that you guys are 6-0 and this year on, on the second half of back-to-backs, which uh, I guess speaks to the resolve of the team uh, 
know, because those aren't easy to play two in a row, right? Yeah, no, definitely not easy um, with the travel and all the things that go into it. Uh, but we got a group here that I think are a lot of good pros, good professionals that take care of themselves. And, and like I said, we got good depth. We feel that we can roll four lines, three sets of D, and obviously both goalies have been great on the back to back. So, um, yeah, when, when we're doing those things, back to backs, a few days in with rest, we feel confident against anybody. Just one about uh, Josh. Uh, in what areas of his game have you seen him step up? Uh, over and above last season where if we considered it a breakout this year he's even better overall in all facets of his game where have you seen the biggest improvement well, i think everybody sees obviously the offensive part you know he his points obviously skyrocketed last year and he's you know getting up there again but i think for me it's just the compete level i i didn't know him obviously till i got here but his compete level on both ends of the ice is is top notch you know he does a lot of good things in the d zone with stick ending plays and being physical obviously for a smaller end guy he's super competitive and he's super strong and he's in amazing shape uh, he can play along like, a lot of minutes um you know he'll play a heavy d zone and then he'll be jumping in the rush being one of the first guys so um that was the biggest thing for me he's such a competitor uh, he expects a lot of himself and um you know we, we get his best pretty much every night so it's been an absolute treat to see him and um you know the player he's been able to involve to and the person he's been evolving into